Hello and welcome to Excel Essentials. In this session, I'll be covering unique counting. I'm going to demonstrate how you can count unique values within a set data range. So as you can see here, I have some data about some employees at the Cookie Factory and I need to see how many countries we operate in and how many departments we have in operation. And this is where the unique counting can come in. Now, we could just use the drop down and see how many different options there are, but sometimes you'll have lists longer than this and manual counting will not be the best and easiest option. So we're going to use this formula which is going to combine two different formulas to uniquely count them. So the first one we're going to type in is equals sum product. And then we're going to do a one forward slash. And then we're going to do count if. Now count if counts the number of cells that meet certain criteria. And for that, we're going to be looking at countries. So I'm going to select United States of America down to the person at the bottom of our little list. And then we're going to come back to the formula bar. And then we're going to hit comma or semicolon, depending on your keyboard setup. And we're going to have the same range as the criteria. And then we're going to close two brackets and we're going to let that calculate and as you see it says we have four countries now if we have a look at base location that is correct we have Jersey Mexico United Kingdom and the United States of America say I wanted to change one of these and say we had some new people working in a different branch in France I'm going to type France and as you see the number of countries has increased from four to five Now we're going to have a look at department and do the same thing there. So we're going to do equals sum product. Then we're going to do one forward slash count if, and we're going to select our range like last time. Make sure that when you've got your count if that it is the same range of cells selected in your range part and your criteria part of the formula. And then we're going to close that and as you see it's six if i was to add more departments for example so i might do hr collab you see it's increasing going from seven to eight and if we open a department drop down with the filter you can see and count that there are eight now if i reverted that to six you see it's counted the six correctly as well Stay tuned for more Excel Essentials.